So now let's look at Oracle Identity Federation. Now, as you see in the diagram, an Oracle Identity Federation is an authentication process across domains. So for example, you have your own company or in a company you work, that company has an application hosted somewhere else like Salesforce or that company has a tie up with a travel agency site or another company that provides travel in terms of booking the flights or hotels. So that party single sign on between that service provider and identity provider is a federation part. So it's authentication across two different companies or enterprises or domains is called as identity federation. In identity federation, there are always two parties, identity provider and service providers. And before the federation can happen between these two or cross domain single sign on can happen between these two parties, these two parties must trust each other. And that's a part of you do when you configure federation. So the identity provider is the enterprise or the domain or the company that where users reside and service provider is from the domain or organization that provides that service. As I said at the start is take an example of your company is an identity provider because you are going to use that service providers service and your company has a tie up with or is using Salesforce which is a cloud application or Oracle Fusion Cloud or Financial Cloud which is on cloud on Oracle's site that hosted there. So that Salesforce or Oracle is service provider and cross domain single sign on between these two parties is called as federation. Now federation has some standards. So SAML that stands for security assertion markup language. There are two versions in that version one and version two and two is latest. So SAML is one protocol. You can have a Liberty protocol, OpenID or OAuth. These are different protocols supported for this SAML. So what do you do when at the time of prior to the single sign on or before the single sign on can happen, you configure trust between identity provider and service provider. So identity provider, so there's a metadata which will have the details about service provider and another metadata for identity provider. And they're going to exchange that metadata provider or metadata with each other so that they can trust with each other. So what's going to happen? So when user try to access service provider, service provider will tell, hey, you need to authenticate or service provider will check who is the identity provider for this application. Service provider will redirect user to the identity provider and on the identity provider side, user will log in and user is already member of or user already have an account in identity provider side. So user will type their username password and on typing the username and password, the identity provider will create a SAML token if you're using SAML uh, protocol. So a token will be created by identity provider and will be sent to the service provider and service provider because there's already a trust between service provider and identity provider service provider will check oh this token is already issued by the identity provider whom I already trust and based and because of that service provider is going to then grant access to that application and it can retrieve identity from that SAML token. So this is all about federation. So now this is how a SAML token look like. On the left hand side, there is a detail about SAML token. So within the SAML token, you can define what all things to be sent from identity provider to service provider. And you see here attributes like last name or given name or user ID and all those details within that XML token, which is a SAML token are sent to the service provider. Now this is logical view and flow. Now, as of January, 2018, I'm working on another course where we'll go deep dive into federation. So if you want to have a look, most probably by February, we should have this course ready. So where we'll go deep dive into this federation. But for now, just to understand on left hand side is the logical view. And on the right hand side, what you see is a flow where we are using Oracle Identity Federation to do a SAML or federation 
with Microsoft Active Directory Federation service, do a single sign on for SharePoint, which is sitting somewhere outside. So on left hand side, logical view, you have an IDP host and this is basically representing identity provider and we are what we are doing in front of identity provider. So identity provider assume that as one site that also is running federation and service provider is also running federation. So both will have federation. They might have a different federation as long as both the parties support SAML or the common protocol for federation. So in IDP, you have a IDP is protected by a front end, which is HTTP layer and you have SAML version to some compliant Oracle Identity Federation. That Oracle Identity Federation will need a repository and OID is acting as a repository for that federation. So if federation needs to validate a username and password, those will be happening via Oracle Internet Directory on the IDP side. And then Oracle Internet Directory may be using an Oracle RDBMS. We'll look at that in a separate dedicated module about OID, what that OID is and the database that is required for OID. Then on right hand side you have a service provider and service provider on this side is acting as an active directory federation service which basically accept the SAML version 2 token received from IDP and once federation is done by on the service provider side by Microsoft Active Directory is micro MS ADFS is just one example here. So Active Directory federation service is the federation solution from Microsoft like Oracle Identity Federation from Oracle. So once that's done, then the user ID is being is being received and it's being relied or it's basically accepted by ADFS and then target application, which is SharePoint, a user is, is being given and say, hey, allow this user to access SharePoint. So that's about logical flow. Same thing on right hand side, it's a flow in this flow, user try to access a SharePoint which is protected by this identity provider. So SharePoint has, or Microsoft SharePoint is a portal, which is configured with ADFS, Active Directory Federation service on the service provider side from Microsoft solution and on identity provider side, it's Oracle. That's a setup we are talking right now here. So if you try to, or if a user try to access SharePoint, SharePoint will go to SAML relying party, SAML or ADFS, ADFS will say, hey, identity provider for this is Oracle Identity Federation. So user will be redirected to the IDP login page or IDP page, which is through Oracle HTTP server goes to the federation uh, engine and then federation or OIF will validate against the OID and issue a SAML token. The SAML token will be posted to the ADFS. ADFS will receive this HTTP post or receiving the SAML token and then extract the user ID from the SAML token and granted to the SharePoint. So this is about a high level federation. Let's head on to the next lesson now.